Hello, 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 y'all. It's 4.52 and we're starting Vlogtober. So welcome. Hello. It's been a very, very exciting day already. I did hot yoga at 9.30 and then I uh, went on a walk, a four mile walk. I then, what did I do after that? I went back to yoga to work on my first class, which is on Tuesday at 4.45, my first community class that we have to do as part of our yoga training, and I'm thrilled, um, truly thrilled to do it, but also scared out of my mind. Not really, but it's just one of those things where it's like, the, I'm ready to get the first one out of the way. I'm ready to be like, the first one's done, I'll never have to do the first one again, but it was helpful today to kind of run through some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing in class on the mic and have the whole experience. So I feel good about it. I feel really good about it. So I'm happy about that. And thank y'all for the sweet comments as always, just giving me so much encouragement on my yoga journey as it were. You're so sweet. Um, I love it. I was talking to Nate today. He's one of the owners and uh, I started yoga this time last year. And as most of y'all know, for the past like 15, 20 years, I've been very uh, active and very into fitness. Uh, it's been my job literally since I can't remember when. Um, but I've only been going to yoga for a year and I started yoga at 197 pounds. I'm now maintaining always like 165 ish, 165 to 170, let's say. But I've now, I've now gotten there and have maintained there for months and months and months. So I'm just thrilled. I, I love it. I love what it's done for my mind. I love what it's done for my body. And it's, it's just changed me. It really has changed me as a person in a good way. Okay, we're at the real estate office. Um, I'm going to go in here. I've got to get a check. I've got to print out a power of attorney form. I have two closings tomorrow and I've got to get prepared for that. Um, I just came back from a final walkthrough. I also did that after my second yoga. So it's five o'clock. It's almost time to meet McKenzie. That's why I've got to hustle. We're going to go to Red Lobster because they're doing their endless shrimp and then we're probably going to go to tiebreakers. And if we do, I want to take you guys in there and show you the games that I like to play in there. I thought that would be perfect for Vlogtober. I think she's also going to get a cookie maybe at Crumble. I don't know that I'm feeling that, but I will have to have something sweet. I'm sure. So I'm going to uh, get off here. And the next time that I see y'all, we will probably be with Mackenzie Page Hoskins. Ta-da! Honey. Honey, I told him you were coming. <laughs> I was like, Mackenzie will be on the next shot. And honey, look at God. If God I told can't him, do it. I told what him, is it? God can't do it. it if God won't, won't do, do it, 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 it won't get done. God won't do it. No, that's not right. If God don't do it. No. If God can't do it. It, it won't, won't get, get done, done. <laughs> if God can do it. I don't know if it's can. I don't feel like... Hold on, never mind. It's going to take a miracle from God. If y'all haven't heard that song, you... Hold on. Bless yourself. Yes. And watch it. I told him we are going to Endless Shrimp. We are. Honey, I've got my glasses on, you know. I've got my true religion sweatshirt that I got in New York. I've got my joggers and I've got the shoes that Mackenzie insisted I buy and I'm thrilled because I love yep, them. Yep, I knew it. She was right, she was right. If God don't do it. If God don't it do it. It won't get. Show them the video. Oh, this is not the right one. No, I want the original. I don't know what that is. That one. <laughs> okay. We love this. Hold on, it's an ad. If she had YouTube Premium like me, she wouldn't have to watch ads. I'm not paying that. I'm not rich like you. That sounds like it could be copyrighted. Just watch this. One, One thing, thing I, I have realized looked. that if God don't do it, it just won't get done. It's gonna take a, a miracle, miracle from, from God. God. If God don't it won't get done, if God don't do it, it won't get done, if God don't do it, it won't get done, it's gonna take a miracle from God. Y'all 
me to watch the whole thing. I love that lady. It's short and sweet, and honey, it'll bless you. Sweet. I saw it. Okay. Honey, well, I, you all know that I come from a place where it's very hard to pull out. And my, it gives me anxiety every time. I know. It's very, yeah, you have to take your off in your own hands. It's going to take me. Oh, who is running? Oh, I know him. I love him. Who is that? That's my friend that runs on this road. You have no idea who he is. No, but we always wave at each other as we're running by each other. <laughs> um, we're going to Endless Shrimp, going to Tiebreakers. Going to crumble, probably, but I know how she operates. She'll be so full. As she goes over long, she can't even possibly think about it. <laughs> so that'll be great for me because I have no desire to go to crumble. It's. Did the, you tell them why I wanted to go? No. I want to go because they changed the mystery cookie today, and it's New York cheesecake. And I really didn't like any cookies this week except for the Rice Krispie treat. So, I don't know. I gotta go check what this was, honey. That was a real. That was Kathy Statham, <laughs> and they're closing on their house tomorrow. So let me see what she said, and we'll get back to you. But that's the plan. Red Lobster first. We'll so see you. Like, I'm, I'm starving. I'm mad about starving. It. And if there's no music in there, I will show you what we get. Y'all, what do you think about these kicks? What do you think about these kicks? I love them. Oh yeah. Honey, we've arrived. It's endless shrimp at the Red Lobster. Do they still have the live lobsters in here? I hope not. It makes me sad. I hope not. Well, I don't really like lobster, honestly. All right, we'll see you when we see them. Here they are. Somebody rescued one of these from a Red Lobster and made a YouTube channel about them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss them showing you these really quick honey this is half the reason we came honey i went with the salmon and orzo and brussels sprouts and salad because i cannot pass up salmon with brussels sprouts and honey kiki got the scampi yep and the fried and then honey i'm gonna force her to get coconut at some point so i can have one yeah so there you go honey this is going to tyler do you have anything you like to say to tyler uh hi i look terrible Put oh, me on there Guess where we are? Open a couple. Smile. Yeah, on candid camera. Is that something? Smile. Um. I don't think so. Candid camera, no. American Spun is home videos, maybe. Let's do a thumbnail because I'll need one. <laughs> do I? Do I? Here, just make this the thumbnail. I'll just do mine. No, I want mine like that. With the box hiding you. Mm -hmm. Y'all be hating on this Rice Krispie I love treat. It. You can hate all you want. Not you all. Not my YouTube people. No. The crumble, this, the crazy crumble fans that rip everything to shreds. They're hating on the Rice Krispie treat. And it's delicious. They're crazy. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Our mystery cookie changed this week to New York cheesecake, which we've had on here before. Yeah, I don't like it. I love it. It's chilled and it's cream cheese. How could you not? Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. mm. Good Lord. Yum. They didn't get to try that, did they, at the jail? Mm -hmm. They did? We did a review on them the first time. Hmm. But like if you bring that, can they try it? Yeah. Like Christy? Because I just want a little bit of it. I'm trying to do better this week, y'all. I think I'll have that eight before the time I get to eat. Uh-uh. I'm not going to either. Okay. Somebody online said that added extra butter to this batch. Mm. I don't really taste that. I just taste again. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. It's like a really good Rice Krispie Treat, the end. Mm -hmm. The literal end. Mm. Love it? Yeah. I do. I love these little individual boxes. I do too, they're cute. I told Nate Davis that I would win him a Squishmallow if he did my yoga flow in his class so that I could experience what it's like as a participant since I won't get to take it. Mm. He said, really? The answer mm. is yes. 
This is so good. Mm -hmm. It's the mini marshmallows for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Added to the nor uh, the already marshmallow cream. Yeah, will you pour? I mean, have whatever you want of that, yeah. but then I want the rest in there. Oh, we're just out there having crumble. Yeah. Have a little picnic date. I've got my open container yeah. with no lid. Stresses me out. Y'all know I prefer a cup with a cup with a beverage over ice with no lid. I would drink it out of a bottle in an emergency or a can, but it's not my preference. I think pouring it over ice makes it flat. So I will never choose a fountain drink. But the reason it does that is because you're pouring a like this is a little bit flat. But when I pour it over ice, I pour cold, and it doesn't go flat. If you're uh, pouring lukewarm uh -huh. or not chilled at all, it immediately goes flat. But it doesn't if it's cold? Uh-uh. Oh. Well, maybe that'll change my life. So I just don't, I would rather drink it cold out of a can or a bottle. And even, this is flat as hell. Uh-huh. Heck. <laughs> but I would prefer it ice cold. Rather than, than oh really yeah. not me I would rather it be room temperature and completely carbonated and burns my throat going down I do like that too I'm gonna close this and I want you to give it to Christy I will Christy I want you to hand that what about Tyler oh yeah Tyler him can have that too and I didn't bite it or anything honey they wouldn't care if you did I, I know they wouldn't care and my God will honey we're here it's not crowded. And I'm feeling blessed by that because it is stressful to me when it's crowded in here. Honey, let me tell you something about tiebreakers. They have 7,000 games. Me and Mackenzie play Willy Wonka, Wizard of Oz, The Pearls. The end. Yeah, the end, literally. So I'm going to show you as we walk in here. Although I may have to get creative because of all the music. But honey, we'll just we'll make it work. It do what it do. Y'all, we're going to try this claw machine to try to get the giant Squishmallow. We'll see how it goes. Is that good? Hold on. No! No! That was a massive fail. Massive fail. So, I'm going to show you the two machines that we love. The Wizard of Oz coin pusher. If you get all eight characters plus one of these, you get 15,000. We love this. Nothing. Similarly, we've got Willy Wonka. For Willy Wonka, if you get each character plus a golden ticket, you get 2,000 tickets. Oh yeah, five, I'm sorry. Five. The golden ticket alone is 2,000. Okay, y'all, so the goal here is you wanna knock these cards down to get as many as you can, plus the golden tickets. You can do it one at a time. But honey, I like to rapid fire. It's very overstimulating, but look. Doing it. Honey, this is our other favorite, and it's just pure mayhem. Thanks for watching. I got nothing, but I do have, a, I mean, I, I got tickets. I have 110,000 on my card. Mackenzie had 150 last time and got an iPad. Yep. Uh, that she uses every night. Aren't you glad I made you get that? Yes, I'm thrilled you made me get that. I love it. I got two full sets at the Wonka, though, and so did you. Mm -hmm. 10,000. Um, thank you for watching this vlogtober. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you tomorrow. Until next time, I love you and I mean it. Bye. You want to sell him anything? Well, bye. I don't know what tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow, I am going to do...
the candle video. I promise that will be tomorrow's Vlogtober. Count on it.